So this is a uh, cover on a 3D printer. Now the um, the actual control of there's the back of it is so exposed, so the circuit board's there. If you've got like gloves or uh, gloves, rings or something on your hand, like I do, and you happen to reach around, you could actually short it out. So um, yeah, I'll try and focus on it. All right, so because of that, I wanted to, to make some adjustments. So this is based on one which someone else designed, and um, I modified their design a little bit. Now they had a Fortunately, I didn't grab the username. Oh, it's on from Thingiverse. I had to do a little bit of search, but it's there. And um, there's a little lump sticking out on here to cover the sounder. And the slot for the connections was only that wide. Now, the PCB has actually got three sets on the back. That's one, that's two, and that's three. And this is the end of three, and it plugs into number three. Alright, so the slot was actually in the wrong place for my printer. So I've just enlarged it, almost made it full width. Um, and I've got this up on my Thingiverse page and on my um, Tinkercad page as well. So I go to there and just go, you know, Thingiverse slash the Def Pom or Tinkercad slash the Def Pom, something like that, I think it is. So um, if you want to see what things I've been doing, I've designed lots of little things. Um, so one of these things is, all right, so this is also based on something else's design, which I've modified. Um, this is a um, HP foot. Now, the one the original one had just like three legs sticking up, which is supposed to be screwed through from the top. But you can't always access those screws. So I've designed it so that it just clips in instead. All right, so you can see the little L-shaped legs there. So what this does is you hook it into the holes, and then the back is like a little clip. This is a flexing piece. All right, you can see and push down, you can see it's bending a little bit there, hopefully. All right. Um, a new idea then is that you can just clip it in. If you want to take it back out again, just bend it back down, you can slide it back out. So that's that one. I've also done feet for my Fluke 5200A, which didn't have any feet. Um, this is a broken one, this is a prototype which I've broke, so I've made some more after I've modified it. And it had basically three little legs, a bit like this, little hooks on there. And this one here's another little bit fixing clip. So I designed it like this so you can just push that in and flex it. But this one's too stiff, I couldn't, I couldn't actually bend it in. So, um, modified design and go here. There it is. All right, so there's a fluke standing up just there, um, waiting for me to get back to repair. So I've got the feet on. They're a little bit loose, but they're not going to fall off. So that's why I'm just actually sitting on top of something, it'll be fine. So at least I've got feet on that again. And uh, so that's that part. And what else have we got? Um, oh yes, yes, the Valhalla handles. Right, so it's handles are made for it. And there's also, if you excuse the cat, hello Paul. Um, there's also legs and cat come out of the way. And um, there's legs just there too. I'm not trying to shit. Paul, Paul. Right, so it's got feet on the back there. I made those as well because the original's broken. So there's a few things we've been making. They're not wonderful print quality. I mean, I've been playing around. This is ABS, so ABS is known for not being particularly easy to work with and printing. So um, I've been playing around with settings and trying to get the print quality better and things like that. And glad you're getting there. So uh, that's those. Thanks for watching. I'll probably shove this in some other videos somewhere or something. I don't know.